the GTA 6 leaked gameplay, we saw Jason looting the interior of a storage container at the Vice City docks. Inside of this storage container, we saw a pile of cash and a Sanchez motorbike. Not only is this our first feature we've never seen before in the GTA franchise, but it also confirms something else really interesting. You see, when Jason actually gets onto the Sanchez motorbike, we can see a notification that states vehicle discovered for the Sanchez livery. What this means is that GTA 6 is going to have its own compendium system like Red Dead Redemption 2 that tracks all of the things that you've discovered throughout the game. This is also likely to be the case for weapons, animals and maybe even tourist locations you discover in GTA 6 as well. Number 2 is a brand new looting system. I'd be lying if I said we haven't seen this in GTA games before. GTA San Andreas notably had burglaries and GTA 5 had shops you could steal snacks from. But these are completely irrelevant once you hear what GTA 6 is going to have. As mentioned earlier, you can now rob storage containers, but there's actually a lot more. During the leaked gameplay, we saw Lucia and Jason exit the diner after robbing it. And once they pass within close proximity of a vehicle, there's actually the option to inspect the inside of an SUV that's been parked up in the car park, meaning we can now loot vehicles parked on the streets and in car parking lots. Not only this, but we can also rob a huge variety of stores for more than just money in free roam too. One notable example in the leaked gameplay was the second-hand antique shop, where we get a glimpse of the returning special eagle eye ability from Red Dead Redemption. 2, where we're able to actually light up valuables inside a store that we can steal. Now to back this up even further, in the GTA 6 leaked gameplay, we also saw indications of a car fence and an art fence, meaning these will be specific contacts we can visit in order to sell certain stolen items throughout the world, like vehicles, um, you know, pieces of art and special collectibles and so on and so forth. Number 3 is a deep dive into the new NPC interaction options available to us. Now, GTA 6 is going to feature an even better version of the NPC interactions than Red Dead Redemption 2. For the first time ever in a GTA game, we can now do more than just reply positively or negatively to pedestrians like we've been able to in previous games like GTA San Andreas. Now you're going to have the option to hold people up, antagonise, be nice, defuse situations and even surrender to the law just like we saw in Red Dead Redemption 2. And just to give you an example of how cool this could be in GTA 6, here's an awesome some clip I got of the exact same thing in Red Dead Redemption 2. Think real carefully now. You dare show your face, you piece of shit! You're a pain in the backside, ain't you? Hands up! Nothing sudden. Come on, this ain't necessary. This is it! Raise your hands or die! I surrender. is a limited weapon inventory, which is a first for the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Usually in GTA games, we've at least been able to store one of each weapon class in our inventory. Uh, or inventory, however you want to pronounce it. It wasn't until GTA 5 where Rockstar decided to let us carry any weapon we wanted and liked at any given time, which is pretty fun for a sandbox mechanic, but pretty bad for immersion. I mean, where exactly is that rocket launcher coming from? Um... Well, in GTA 6, this time you'll have the space for two heavy weapons and two side arms, as well as some other equipment like a knife, painkillers, cigarettes, so on and so forth, just like we did in Red Dead Redemption 2. It looks like it will work in a very similar fashion, where we had to actually obtain further weapons, or if we wanted to change the weapons we were holding, we needed to visit our horse. Of course, in GTA 6, we're not going to have a horse, although that is a leaked thing that they're actually going to be in the game and possibly rideable. But what I'm trying to say here is the way that you change the weapons you're holding in GTA 6 is going to be likely through your personal vehicle. However, we also know that Jason and Lucia actually share a um, shared inventory system or inventory system, whatever. So basically, you might be able to swap weapons with each other as well as long as you're within close proximity. Number five is new stealth mechanics. From the leaked gameplay, we can see in one clip the player holding a person over their shoulders, which likely means for the first time in a GTA game, we can now actually move bodies and hide them to a avoid being caught. 
The new AI system points towards CCTV cameras actually working this time, meaning you'll also have to be wary of these too, as the cops can now be alerted of your identity, last vehicle driven, and even your license plate. But even better yet, we saw Jason crawling along the floor, sneaking inside of a barn in the rural area of the map, which also means we might for the first time ever be able to literally lay low and avoid being detected and have more options for sneaking around. And I hope this also means that suppressors are actually going to work this time round as well, because as we all know GTA 5 stealth was terrible, virtually non-existent, and any improvements on the stealth mechanics in GTA 6 are definitely going to be welcomed warmly by the community, I can definitely say that. Number 6 is that the world is going to be more interactive than ever before seen in a GTA game. We've already seen in the leaked gameplay the ability to buy gumballs from a gumball machine. We saw during the diner robbery that you now have to loot individual stacks of money placed on the counter instead of them just magnetising themselves into our inventory like we saw in previous GTA games. All items are now interactive and the best example comes back again to the clip where we were in the uh, thrift store in the leaked gameplay where you could actually see, uh, similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, all of the items on the shelves that you can interact with from the counter and so on and so forth for a more traditional experience. So on the topic of interactive items, how about we quickly touch on some of the new additions in the game that we've never seen in a GTA game before, such as a spear gun, USB sticks, a radar jammer, cutting tools, a slim jim for breaking into vehicles a vehicle immobilizer bypass and a flashbang, but there are more items that you might be interested in looking at which you can see on the screen throughout the moments I've just been talking, of course you can pause the video and read them if you wish. As mentioned earlier, looting containers is also an interactive item now and it means you'll also have to carry a loot bag or a duffel bag to ensure that you've got enough inventory space to carry the items that you wish to be stealing. Number 7 is assets are returning finally with a purpose this time. It's been so long since we've actually had meaningful assets in GTA games. GTA 5 had barely any properties that you could purchase that actually had meaning, but in GTA 6 these assets have something about them that's actually unique to the series. They actually function as money laundering locations. During the leaked gameplay it was noted that some of the locations on the map had the symbol of a washing machine with a money icon in the middle. Now if that's not the universal sign for money laundering then I don't know what is. What this basically means is we might actually have to legitimately wash our cash and money that we've stolen through our businesses before we can actually use it in the game, aka essentially having our own money laundering businesses. And I personally think this actually sounds really, really awesome. And I'm really happy about businesses and assets returning to the GTA series that actually have purpose once and for all. I mean, in GTA 5, you could buy a golf course for $150 million, and it literally did nothing besides giving you a little bit of passive money every now and then. Someone noticed during the leaked gameplay there was an entire apartment complex with each uh, like building and room that should be modeled in the game which means you can probably enter a huge amount of uh, buildings and rooms throughout hotels and apartment complexes and rob them all and similar to how we did in Red Dead Redemption 2 but probably a lot more than that if you enjoy GTA 6 videos just like this make sure you guys subscribe for more in the future and I'll see you guys another time